Now to a protest tonight in West Hollywood after the death of a young man. He overdosed in the home of a wealthy and connected person. But the DA just ruled no charges will be filed. CBS 2's Tom Wade is live in West Hollywood tonight with more of the story. Tom. And Jeff, the family of this young man says he did not get a fair shake because he was both black and gay. But the DA's office and the sheriff's department say there was a thorough investigation. I would not wish this pain on any family, on any mother. An emotionally drained Letitia Nixon reacting to news that no charges will be filed in connection with the death of her son, Jamel Moore. The 26-year-old died of a drug overdose in July of last year. It happened at the West Hollywood home of Ed Buck, a wealthy and connected political activist. Nixon came together with friends and community activists to protest the decision. I think that Ed Buck is guilty of injecting my son with meth. The sheriff's department kept the case open for the past year. Yesterday, the DA's office said there was not enough evidence to charge Buck with Moore's death. I think because my son was a black gay man that his life didn't matter to them. The sheriff's department insists they did a thorough investigation and worked closely with the DA's office. Meanwhile, Ed Buck's attorney released a statement saying Ed Buck had nothing to do with Jamel Moore's death. It was a tragedy, but not an excuse to slander an innocent man. If the roles had been reversed and Ed Buck had died and Jamel had lived, Jamel would have been in jail. Like I said, the goal is no more Jamel Morris. No more. And Moore's mother says she is not going away. She says she will now consult her legal team to see what next steps are available to her. Reporting live in West Hollywood, I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tom, thank you.